Welcome to 5.6's Math Moment. Today, students learned about equivalent expressions. They looked at several types of expressions today, and the very first one we have, for example, one says, write two expressions that are equivalent to each expression. All right, so equivalent, we know as a review from fifth and sixth grade, means the same as. So we've got v plus v plus v, which I know is the same as 3v. So students could write it a couple of different ways. They could write 3v. Remember when there's nothing in between those two and they're smashed together with a variable and a number that means to multiply, or they could write it 3 times v. Well, there's a couple of other ways to show multiplication. Sometimes students use a dot, sometimes they use a star. We really discourage students from using an x in this case because it looks like another variable. So it's important to use these different ways to show how to multiply. An example two, it says make a diagram and write an equivalent expression for 5c plus 3. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break this into pieces. So I need to do 5c. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show my 5c. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to label these c for each of my 5c, because it's 5 times c. And I need to do my plus 3. So I'm just going to put over here in another box my 3. So this is another way to show a diagram of 5c plus 3. If you have any questions about 5.6, make sure to see your math teacher.